Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. This is Two with Stephanie. Yes, as you saw, this is my monthly uh, box. Uh, I hope that this is the right box that uh, I'd be opening for you guys. But yeah, it's a sponsored video. Hang tight. I have something fun once again this month for you guys. Okay, so like months in the past, uh, I am a affiliate with SipSpy. SipSpy is a company that does a survey for you. Well, you do the survey and then they choose four teas that they send you samples of so that you can enjoy some tea. And since you guys are enjoying me doing tags along with my tea, I am, that's exactly what we're going to do. So this month's tag that I will be doing with my tea is uh, the unpopular opinions tag. So if that is something you are interested in, that was created by but the book Archer. Her link is down in the description box. She's the originary of this. She originated it and she created it back in like 2015, I think. It has been in and around booktube forever. Let's give her some love. Go check out hers. Um, I thought I had done this uh, tag before, but um, I'm thinking that maybe I didn't actually complete it. I don't know. I haven't just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to do it again after I show you which teas I got in this tea box. So let's open that up real quick. My hand it and woohoo, going to get you gonna get you and like I've done in the last couple months I will show you guys which teas I do then I will go brew it you guys will see a video montage of me brewing the tea and then I will come back down and uh do that unpopular opinion tag with you guys so like most months um I actually I'm really hoping that this is my monthly box because I have some other boxes coming and it's pink and I really hope that it's not that box. But regardless, I'm doing a box. I'm doing a box. It's February. It's pink. It's love. It's all of that, right? All that goodness. And of course, it is the wrong box. This is not my monthly box. This is the February uh, Galantine's Tea Box. So it's representing friendship and things like that. So happy Galantine's Day. They gave me a tea card. Super cute love her in the middle of course and in this box uh they sent me a couple packages of oh i almost said that so wrong stash tea it is breakfast in paris and oh there we go hey how you doing this is a black tea with lavender bergamot oil and vanilla extract super excited to try this one out um then i got a strawberry blend herbal tea from tea head right there and this is elderberry hibiscus apple black currants flavoring blackberries strawberries raspberries wild strawberry leaves mm, yum yum talk about some goodness right here oh we also got cookie tea which is definitely gonna fade me out uh but this is black tea with sliced almond cinnamon flavor saffron petals and it contains nut so be careful if you have a nut allergy there is an allergen in this one uh, and this one is also by uh, Cookie Tea. Cookie, yeah, Cookie Tea. There we go. Cookie Tea. And the final tea that is in my box is Coconut Cocoa from the Republic of Tea. And this is, let's show you what that looks like. This is roasted carbo roasted chicory dates coconut flavoring cocoa powder and chocolate flavoring so really really love that 
Um, I, I you guys can probably guess which tea I'm about to go brew, which is uh the tea head. In the past, I've done like two parters, or I'd go and like do it, but I'm doing this differently this time. So uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know this is the one I'm gonna go brew, and I will be back uh, for this. If you guys like that tea presentation, make sure that you're checking the description box. I have a referral link down there. You get five dollars off your first subscription box uh, by using my code, and then I get points. So it's nothing. It's not like um, what you call it, a kickback or anything like that. But definitely check that out because they are so good so good they're going to turn you on to some amazing teas if you are a tea drinker uh which i have become completely obsessed with teas but i'm talking i'm gonna go brew this and you guys will see that montage right now you guys uh unfortunately i actually switched which tea i was going to drink um i was gonna do the strawberry one but then i noticed that it takes like 10 minutes to brew and um wow wow i didn't want to wait that long uh so i went with the coconut cocoa one and let me tell you first of all the smell of this is absolutely amazing 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 and i feel kind of bad that um i'm doing the galatine isn't it galatine yeah galatine box uh for tea and then i'm gonna spill some tea with some unpopular opinions um while holding my women support women uh mug here with the tea in it that is so good oh my goodness and then i put like a little splash of cream in here um, I didn't put that in the montage, but uh, I decided to add it because it has like this chocolate flavor to it that is just so good. I so kind of wish that it was still winter time and uh, that or Christmas time and that I had some eggnog to put in here because that would have been just like, Mwah! if you like cocoa, if you like hot chocolate type thing, this is going to be the tea that you want to go out and get because that is so what this smells like and what this tastes like it is so good it is so so good you guys alrighty so let's get into this unpopular opinion tag and um, like I said it was created by another amazing creator like five or six years ago and it's still up it's linked in the description box all of the questions will be linked in the description box and because of the way that I am recording this um, I'm actually going to put the questions on screen for you guys. So I'm kind of excited about that, but I'm definitely ready to spill some tea. So first question is a popular book or series that I didn't like. Um, yeah, so that's a really, really kind of hard one for me. Um, I'm trying to think. I didn't prep any of these questions beforehand. And now that I am in the midst of it, I am drawn a blank um, of a series that I didn't like. Oh, 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 oh. The, uh, whatchamacallit, Akamath, Akatar, all them dang on books, the Quartz books by Sarah J. Mass. Not a fan. Not a fan. Hated the first book. I, I mean, I, I finished the first book. Uh, didn't particularly care for it. I believe I gave it like two stars or something like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, people rave about it all the time and it makes me like leery to pick up the second one, which everyone says supposedly is, you know, so much better. So there's that. 
Uh, question number two is a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate, but I seem to love. Um, that could be so many, so many different things. Um, like there's so many people out there that still have a vitriol for the Fifty Shades of Grey series, which I absolutely love. Um, when I do reread it, I read it so that I can like skim over some of the chunkier parts, what have you. I'm not saying this is a literary freaking award-winning novel or anything like that or series, but I find enjoyment out of it. Um, I do, as I have grown through my reading, see where the, uh, where some of the more, where more faults lie in it. Oh my goodness. Um, so I get that, but, um, I'm trying to think of another series. Um, I might have to go with the uh, Hot and Hammered series by Tessa Bailey. I really enjoyed Fix Her Up. I really enjoyed Love Her or Lose Her. I really enjoyed Tools of Engagement. I found that they all had their little quirky feel to them. I really enjoyed Tessa Bailey's uh, banner throughout them and everything like that. But there are a lot of people that like only one or maybe two books out of that series. I liked all of them. So question number three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you did not want them to end up with, uh, Warren for spoilers, or an OTP that you didn't like. So uh, for anyone that's new that doesn't know what OTP is, is one true pairing. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Um, I'm sure I have one. Um, I would probably have to say... I was not a huge fan of um, the characters that ended up matching up in Heartbreak Warfare by uh, Heather M. Orgeron and Kate Stewart. That wasn't my fave. However, I could see why they ended up together and um, how it all sort of worked out. And uh, the other, like, biggest, I guess, love triangle that I've read um, that I would actually have, like, major issues with is uh, the How Everything Ended Up in Arson by Mia Asher. I was livid at that. But that also puts me through, put me through, like, a different emotional sort of feel to it as well. Question number four is a popular book genre that I hardly reach for. You are not, 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 not ever, 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 ever going to find me picking up a straight horror book. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to do it. Um, and I will stick to it. If it even has the possibility of hinting at possible horror, like horror. I'm not doing it. No, no, uh, mm, 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 no, 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 no. That book, Gideon the Ninth, or, or whatever it is, is, that scary looking character. No, no, thank you. Y'all can keep that. I ain't going near it. Not happening. Not, no, no. Shutting it down. No, I'm good. Alrighty, a number five is a beloved or popular character that I didn't like. Um, there, um, yeah, I don't see the love for Rysan or Resan or whatever his thinking name is. That court, that court book, them court books. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see the allure of uh wanting that character mm, uh, uh, mm. oh oh and another one that mila vale that 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 mila vale um like fantasy thing going on there oh oh all my friends are like oh i love that book it's so great 
wait, no, no, y'all, no, no, mm -mm. and I'm, a, that's, a, that's a hill I'm gonna die on, them, them, ooh, I don't understand it, don't get it, question number six is a popular author that you can't seem to get into, um, Sarah J, sorry, sorry, hun, but, uh, mm. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you's right up there with uh, Miss Colleen Hoover, who's another one that will never come back off the shelf. Now, I might try. I might. I have. And I purchased all of them court books. And I own Crescent City. So I'm going to try these books by Sarah J. But Colleen Hoover... No, 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 never again. No one shall convince me to take you off of my do not read list ever again. Ever. Ever again. Question number seven is a popular book trope that I'm tired of seeing. For example, Lost Princess, Corrupt Ruler, Love Triangles. Um, I don't really have one that I don't particularly like seeing no there is one what is it oh i'm not a big fan of virgins um me and virgins don't get along especially if they're virgins in their 20s don't don't hate on me don't don't hate on me don't come after me with no pitchforks but i am so hard pressed to find someone in real life that's over the, I mean, and, and, and maybe that's just my generation because I am a completely gen different generation than y'all are for the most part that watch me, um, <laughs> which is really funny because y'all, I mean, my analytics be showing me that y'all be liking me at 25 and, uh, you know, that's, that's like, I, I could have been your mama. I could be your mama. Um, whoo. So, um, yeah, yeah, uh, it's crazy, but, um, I, mm, I, I guess I just grew up in a different time, definitely grew up in a different time, and, um, that whole virgin thing over, like, 25 is, like, really, which brings me to a funny story, right? So, um... Yeah, I just watched a television show where there was a 27-year-old virgin on it, and I about flipped my lid. I was like, oh, my God. And then they were surprised because the, the show was uh, Married at First Sight. And that person was surprised that the person that they married at first sight wanted to divorce them when they wasn't even trying to, like, give any any effort into losing or, or giving it up. I, I mean, y'all married y'all married you said i'm saving myself for marriage you done went and got married at first sight but you ain't giving up the skins i'm gonna need i no no and it's the same way in my books it's the same way in my books it's like there is this uh sexual immaturity which is the same for the show i was yelling at the television like you don't understand why he didn't want to be with you you ain't giving up he didn't already bought it so yeah there, there's that there's that trope okay i'm off my off my pedestal now question number eight is a popular series that you have no interest in reading pretty much any fantasy series like high fantasy series i, I mm, i've been burned by them so often that i'm just like ah, no i'm good i'm good i don't need any of them any of them so shatter me i'm not a big not trying to like get into um yeah uh, just no no there are a couple that i i'm interested in but like high fantasy though the brandon sander sander sanderman sanderson whatever books no mm, no y'all can keep them y'all can keep them and then question number nine is the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie, but what movie or TV adaptation do you prefer more than the book? And like I said I in the beginning, I think I've done this uh, this 
tag before, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. And I may have just recorded it, but not put it out type thing. I don't know. Anyways, regardless, I will never, ever, 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 ever try to read another Michael Crichton book ever again. I will watch the Jurassic Park movies all day long, but I will never, ever, 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 ever try to read one of them dang books again. Ever. Never. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not me. No. Dry. Dry. So dry. Whew. And big words. Lots of big words. Oh. Okay, so that completes the unpopular opinions tag. I don't even know if I gave any, like, good advice or spilled any tea or whatever. If you watch my channel, you probably knew all those answers anyways. Um, but, yeah, there's that. So, so, let me know some of your unpopular opinions about uh, these questions down in the comment section. Let's discuss. Let's talk about them. You know, do the thing. Do the thing. Um couple of reminders, there is my referral tag down in the description box so you guys can get $5 off your first subscription box. Uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. There is a uh, feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. It's February. Make sure you're reading black authors, uplift them, support them. I All through the month, I have been putting out videos uh, to help you find new and uh, underrated black authors. I'm not going to call them unpopular because they are popular in certain circles. Y'all just need to go out and read more. Remember to participate in the Black Author Readathon where we are uplifting black authors and supporting them. And uh, yeah, so there is that. I think that is all. My PayPal, my Ko-fi, my Patreon links, all my other social links are down in the description box as well. Uh, if you want to follow me, I do lots of Instagram reels and lots of things on Instagram, as well as put out videos here Tuesdays and Thursdays and exclusive videos over on my Patreon on Sundays, which is full book reviews. Yes. And lots of other things. So thank you guys for watching and um, I will see you guys in the next video. If you